address spoken by Miss Fontenelle on her benefit night. <coughs> well, Europe's eye is fixed on mighty things, the fate of empires and the fall of kings. While quacks of state must each produce his plan, and even children will lisp the rights of man. Amid this mighty fuss, just let me mention the rights of women merit some attention. First, in the sexes intermixed connection, one sacred right of woman is protection. The tender flower that lifts its head late, helpless, must fall before the blasts of fate. Sunk on the earth, defaced its lovely form, unless your shelter ward the impending storm. Our second right, but needless here, is caution. To keep that right inviolates the fashion. Each man of sense had so full before him, he'd die before he brought it. Tis decorum. There was, indeed, in far less polished days, a time when rough, rude men had naughty ways. But swagger, swear, get drunk, kick the riot, they even thus invade a lady's quiet. Hmm. Now, thank our stars, we gothic days are fled. Thou well-bred man, and you are all well-bred. <laughs> <laughs> Must justly think, and we are much the gainers. Such conduct ne neither spirit, wit, nor manners. For right the third, our last, our best, our dearest, that right to fluttering female hearts the nearest, which even the rights of kings in low prostration most humbly own his dear, dear admiration. In that blessed sphere alone we live and move, there tastes that life of life, the immortal love. Smiles, <coughs> glances, sighs, tears, fits, flirtations, airs, in such a host with plenty savage dares, when all her beauty joins with all her charms, who is so rash as rise in rebel arms? But Truce with kings, and truce with constitutions, with bloody armaments and revolutions. Let majesty your first attention summon. Ah, Sarah, the majesty of woman. Okay. <laughs>